Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. So, how are you guys? I hope you guys are doing okay. Okay. So today, uh, we are going to continue our lesson. Okay, so which is about mutation. Okay, so uh, let's begin. Uh, wait, let me set up first. Okay, so what does uh, mutation means? Okay, so you have to know that mutation uh, is... Wait. Okay. So mutation is a spontaneous and random change of a specific material, namely DNA of or of the cell in an organism. So it means that mutation is a process where it will alter or it will change the genetic content in our DNA. Okay, so the one that change. Uh, or the one that cause the mutation is called mutagen. Uh, so that's why mutagen, uh, the definition of mutagen is a substance which cause mutation. Uh, okay, so I hope you guys can differentiate okay, what mutation, what mutagen are. Okay, uh, mutation occurs spontaneously in natural condition. And a new genetic material produced by mutation is called mutant. Uh, so when uh, when when something is exposed to the mutation, for sure uh, there will be a new product will be formed, right? That new product we call them as a mutant. Okay, so a mutant can exist uh, as mutant gene, mutant cell, mutant organelle, and even mutant individual so it's mean that not just in uh, not just gene or cell uh, in fact organelle or individual themselves okay can undergo mutation so when they undergo mutation uh, the product uh, is called as a mutant okay the next one the types of mutagen okay remember mutagen uh, is substance that cause mutation Okay, so there are three types of uh, mutagen. First one, physical agent, chemical agent, and the last one, biological agent. Okay, so physical agent, uh, for example here, ultraviolet from the sun, okay, X-ray, alpha ray, and beta ray. But for chemical uh, agent, for example, carcinogen in the cigarette, okay, uh, food preservative, and so on. And the last one, biological agent, okay, the one that cause mutagen for, for sure, it is virus and bacteria. Okay, that's all for types of mutagen. Now we go for types of mutation. Okay, types of mutation, there are only two. The first one, gene mutation. Okay, the first one is gene mutation. Okay, the next one is uh, chromosomal mutation. So remember, types of uh, mutation, there are only two. The first one is gene mutation the next one is chromosomal mutation okay so let's go one by one okay wait kenapa tak bergerak ni okay so we go for uh, gene mutation first okay okay so uh, before we want to study about gene mutation okay let, let's read together Gene mutation occur when there is a change in nucleotide base sequence of a gene. Okay, so this you still remember what uh, nucleotide means? Okay, for those who don't remember, nucleotide consists of uh, apa? phosphate group, pentose sugar, and nitrogenous base. Uh, so uh, this is DNA, right? Okay, so uh, this one. Uh, okay, this one is called as a nitrogenous base. Uh, nitrogenous base. But if we uh, make it bigger, actually you should see three, three things in one nucleotide. Okay, the first one you should see phosphate group, uh, pentose sugar and nitrogenous base. But uh, for this uh, diagram, you are only see, you only see uh, what? Uh, nitrogenous base. Remember, nitrogenous base ni dia ada empat. Okay, dia ada A, 
dia ada T, dia ada G, dia ada C. Okey, A, T, C dengan G. Kalau A will always pair with T and vice versa. Sebab itulah A dia akan pair dengan T dan T akan pair dengan A. Uh, either one lah. And C akan pair dengan G. Uh, dan G akan pair dengan C. Uh, they must be complementary to each other. Okay. Uh, so, uh, gene mutation okay, will happen when there is a change in Uh, when there is a change in nit nucleotide base sequence of a gene. Uh, so maksudnya uh, gene mutation tu dia akan berlaku bila contohnya ini susunan asal dia. Uh, tapi disebabkan berlakunya mutation. Nak tengok kat sini. Uh, the nucleotide sequence after mutation. Okay. Sepatutnya C kan. Tetapi dia jadi T kat sini. Uh, okay. So uh, this will cause many problems. Okay. So the altar of genetic code that is used to synthesize amino acid. So remember the arrangement of uh, nat uh, nitrogenous base here okay will indicate okay will tell information what kind of amino acid okay should be produced. Uh, tapi since there is a change uh, in uh, nitrogenous base here uh, this will alter the genetic code. Uh, so therefore there will be a change in protein structure. Sebab kita tahu in order to uh, produce protein, we require amino acid. So kalau amino acid tu bermasalah, this will give another problem for protein. Uh, so bila protein tu ada masalah, okay, they cannot function. Why protein is very important here? Because we know that protein is used to make enzyme, to make hormone uh, and antibody for example. So right now, when Uh, when mutation, when gene mutation happen, this will alter the uh, sequence of the nitrogenous base. So, bila uh, nitrogenous base berubah daripada C jadi T, this will change the information to produce amino acid. So, bila amino acid itu bermasalah, this will make another problem to produce protein. So, bila protein bermasalah, can we produce uh, a good enzyme? a good amino acid, sorry, a, a good uh, antibody? No, right? Uh, okay. So gene mutation can occur by base substitution, base deletion and base insertion. Uh, so ni adalah, uh, there are three example of gene mutation. Number satu, base substitution, base deletion and base insertion. Okay, jom kita tengok eh. Ah, uh, ni awak tengok ni. Eh. Okay, ada tiga kan? Okay, base substitution. Ingat eh, base tu sama maksud dengan uh, nitrogenous base. Ha, yang cikgu cerita. Kalau nucleotide tu ada tiga. Uh, uh, Postpaid group, uh, pentose sugar dan juga nitrogenous base. Ha, so kat sini kita nampak nitrogenous base je lah. Sebab nitrogenous base tu lah yang ada empat. A, T, C dengan G. Okay, kita pergi satu-satu eh. Awak tengok. Kalau base substitution, okay, uh, dia akan tukar. Okay, this is the original one, okay? And this is uh, how the arrangement of... Uh, okay, wait, wait. Ha, ni, kalau awak tengok, okay, this is DNA, right? Okay, DNA. Ha, ni, yang warna biru dan juga warna kuning ni. This is DNA. Okay, ha, so due to the gene mutation, okay, T ni, dia akan tukar dengan G. So, sini akan jadi G lah, betul tak? Ingat eh, ha, kalau... T berubah, A pun akan berubah juga. Sebab apa? Kalau kita tukar dengan G, G will always pair with C. Ha, so sini akan jadi C lah. Yang lain semua sama. Awak tengok. T, A, C, T, T. T, A, C, T, T. Ha, tapi disebabkan perubahan uh, substitution. Substitution maksudnya dia tukar. Ha, daripada T jadi G. Ha, so bila G berubah kat sini, C pun akan muncul. Ha, so as you can see here, Uh, ni uh, yang awak nampak ni mat list p pro glue yang ni awak tak perlu tahu yang awak perlu tahu adalah this is uh, amino acid uh, so maksudnya kalau kita ada susunan a u g sebagai contoh when you have uh, uh, arrangement of uh, what when you have arrangement of amino acid a u g Amino acid yang akan ditafsirkan adalah MAT. Faham maksud cikgu? Ha, sekarang kan dulu kita pernah kita belajar. There are 20 types of amino acid. Kalau kita nak buat amino acid MAT, MET ni, kita kena ada 
AUG. Faham tak? Kalau kita nak buat amino acid list, kita kena ada uh, sequen AAG. Faham maksud cikgu? Ha, so, ni satu amino acid, ini satu amino acid, ini satu amino acid yang lain. So, bila satu amino acid ni bergabung satu sama lain, this will produce pro protein. Ha, betul tak? Ha, so, sekarang ni kalau awak tengok eh. T ni ditukar kepada G. So, G muncul. So, G akan tukar kepada C. Ha, so, kalau 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 normally, kalau kita nak produce glue amino acid, kita kena ada G, A, A. Tapi disebabkan C berubah kat sini, amino acid lain yang akan dihasilkan. Ni, different amino acid is synthesized. Ha, dia akan hasilkan S, A, S, P. Ha, so, protein ni akan ada problem lah. Sebab apa? Susunan amino acid tidak betul kat sini. Sepatutnya susunan amino acid macam ni. Ha, sepatutnya mat, list, P, pro dan glue. Tapi disebabkan berlakunya gene mutation, ha, instead of glue, dia ada ASP. Ha, so, this will create another problem. Okay, this one is for base substitution. The next one is base insertion. Ha, awak tengok tiba-tiba A ni muncul. Dia mencelah. Insertion tu maksud dia, dia mencelah. Macam dia ditukar. T kepada G. Yang ni tiba-tiba A tu mencelah. Awak tengok ni. G, G. G, G. Tiba-tiba ada A kat sini. Ha, boleh faham tak? Ha, so, new amino acid will be synthesized. Tiba-tiba susunan dia sepatutnya macam ni. Tiba-tiba ada amino acid baru dihasilkan. Okay. Okay, yang ni base deletion. Ha, maksudnya, apa ni? Ha, ha, ma okay, maksudnya G ni di delete, dia keluarkan. Ha, ni ni GGC kan? So sekarang ni bila G ni kita buang, dia akan jadi C G, sorry, GCC. Ha, awak tengok ni. So yang ni dia buang. Betul tak? Ha, so new amino acid will be formed. Sebab apa? Dia tak ingat eh. Amino acid ni kalau kita nak produce, kita kena ada tiga sequence of base. Ha, sepatutnya kalau kita nak hasilkan pro, kita akan ada CCG. Tapi disebabkan G ni dah keluar, Uh, so susunan dia akan jadi C, G, G. So amino acid lain lah yang akan dihasilkan. Okay, so this will disturb okay, the production of protein. Okay, uh, so kita tengok apa, apa, apa uh, uh, what is the consequence of gene mutation. Okay, so gene mutation can cause genetic disease such as uh, thalassemia, okay, uh, cytic fibrosis, sickle cell anemia dan sebagainya. Ha, so sebagai contoh kalau awak tengok eh. Kalau berlakunya base substitution. Okey kejap eh. Hello Zim. Ah. Ah HTAA. Oh, eh, kau boleh email ke? Ha, boleh email? Ha, ha. Sorry je aku ada kelahan online tak pasang WhatsApp je. Ha, okay, okay. Ha, nanti bapa lagi WhatsApp eh. Okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum. Okay guys, I'm sorry. Uh, someone, I, I have something to do just now. Okay, let's continue. Okay guys, so uh, as I said, okay, uh, so this uh, gene mutation, okay, they have three types, okay. Base substitution, uh, yang mana dia tukar kedudukan. Base insertion, tiba-tiba dia masuk satu base. Lepas tu base deletion kita delete. So all these different types of base ataupun gene mutation can lead to different disease. Ha, kalau base substitution, it can lead to sickle cell anemia. Okay, dan seterusnya macam tu lah. Okay, jom kita fokus. Kita ambil satu contoh. Eh. Sickle cell anemia. Okay, sickle cell anemia ni, 
is uh, is uh, is caused by genetic responsible to synthesis hemoglobin. Ah, so saya tengok. Uh, so bila ada berlaku base substitution, okay, this can uh, change, okay, the amino acid. So when amino acid has problem, uh, protein has problem. So bila protein problem, can we have a good quality of hemoglobin? No, right? Sebab kita tahu hemoglobin diperlukan, okay, dibuat daripada protein. So bila protein tu bermasalah, dia akan menyebabkan someone will suffer from sickle cell anemia. So what is sickle cell anemia? Sickle cell anemia happen when the red blood cell of the patient are in the shape of uh, crescent. Uh, crescent tu maksudnya uh, bentuk bulan sabit. Ni awak tengok. This is a normal red blood cell. Tapi when someone okay has sickle cell anemia, the red blood cell okay dia akan uh, menyerupai bentuk bulan sabit. Ha ni awak tengok ni. Okay. Uh, so this is this is because the red blood cell are not formed properly. Sebab apa not formed properly? Sebab uh, hemoglobin is not uh, produced properly. Uh, sebab apa? We know that inside red blood cell you can find hemoglobin. So bila hemoglobin tu berubah, dia akan menukarkan bentuk red blood cell. So some of red blood cell are normal whereas the rest are uh, crescent shape. Inilah. Okay, uh, uh, okay, what is the problem? What is the consequence of having sickle cell anemia? The patient will have uh, will suffer from fatigue. Uh, the face become pale. Sebab apa? We know that the function of red blood cell is to transport oxygen. Okay, so bila bila uh, dia ada sickle cell shape, this can reduce the amount of oxygen to be transported. So bila banyak uh, red blood cell bentuk macam ni, dia akan mengurangkan kadar uh, penghantaran oksigen. So patient tu akan jadi keletihan lah sebab kurang oksigen. Okay. Okay, the next one is uh, albi albinism atau, ataupun albino lah. Uh, yang mana rambut dia, kulit dia, uh, mata pun dan sebagainya akan berwarna putih. So an individual who experience albinism is an albino. Okay, albinism is due to the mutation of gene which responsible to produce pigment, hair and eyes. Uh, so maksudnya, we, uh, this pigment has problem due to the arrangement of the uh, nitrogenous base. Okay, so hence the pigment are not produced in, in, in is albino lah. Okay, cikgu nak share sikit lah yang pasal ni. Pigment tu nama dia adalah melanin. Okay, melanin. Ejaan dia M-E-L-A-N-I-N. -E Melanin is a pigment that will make the skin, hair ataupun eyes become darker. So kalau awak tengok orang orang tu berkulit gelap sebagai contoh dan orang tu berkulit cerah. Maksudnya orang, those who have darker skin, they have more melanin pigment. Those who are bright in color, they have less melanin. Tapi untuk albino ni, dia tak ada melanin langsung. Ha, sebab itulah dia sangat-sangat putih. Putih yang tahap yang golongan-golongan kayangan pun tak mampu nak putih macam tu. Ha, contoh macam tu. Faham tak? You should have at least sikit lah melanin. Jangan tak ada langsung. Tak ada langsung, akan jadi albino lah. Okay? Ha, so, this melanin pigment pigment is produced by protein protein produced by amino acid amino acid so amino acid ada masalah protein masalah bila protein masalah this can lead to uh, this problem lah this disease okay okay guys so i think that's all for gene mutation now we go for chromosomal uh, mutation now, this is the last one okay let me okay kita besarkan sikit Okay, apa chromosomal mutation tadi? Okay, chromosomal mutation involve change to the chromosome structure or change to the chromosomal number. Okay, so chromosomal mutation ni dia akan meli, uh, mutation ni dia, mutation tu akan menyebabkan kromosom tu berubah bentuk. Sebab tu dia cakap structure. Yang kedua akan mengubah number kromosom tu. Uh, for example, human. Okay, human ni kita tahu dia kena ada 40 six kromosom. Dia kena ada 46 kromosom. Tapi disebabkan chromosomal mutation happen, maybe kromosom kromosom dia lebih. Mungkin kromosom dia uh, kurang. Ah faham tak? Itu maksud dia. 
Okay, chromosomal mutation can change the characteristic of organism. Okay, so change in chromosomal structure involve change to the gene sequence in the chromosome. Uh, okay, so sekarang ni kita tengok contoh-contoh dia. Eh. Contoh chromosomal mutation ada berapa ni? Uh, ada empat. Okay, deletion. Uh, so this is chromosome, right? Ah, uh, this is chromosome. So bila deletion, maksudnya kita buang B. Mana B? Ah, B kita buang. Ah, uh, so Ah, uh, B tak ada kan? Uh, so this is a mutant chromosome. Mutant apa mutant? Mutant is the product from chromosome. Ah, uh, yang ni duplication. Ah, uh, duplication. Duplication tambah. Ah, uh, ni ni original dia tambah satu lagi B. Uh, dia akan jadi A B B C. Ah, uh, ini inversion. Inversion itu K. Ah, uh, A pergi sini, F pergi sini. Okay. Uh, lepas tu trans uh, translocation. Ah, uh, translocation ni dia involve Uh, homologous chromosome. Eh, sorry, it, it, it involve uh, two chromosome. Okay, yang ditukar. Ni awak tengok. A, B, C, D, E, F. Lepas tu ditukar. Uh, J, K, L ni duduk atas. D, E, F ni duduk bawah. Uh, okay, tu translocation. Okay, uh, so awak tengok eh. A change in chromosome number caused by diplot organism to lose Uh, okay, uh, yang ni yang ni uh, kita bercerita pasal structure. Uh, structure maksudnya uh, this is how uh, chromosome looks like after uh, mutation uh, yang bawah ni dia cerita pasal chromosomal chromosomal number kan cikgu cerita tadi kan chromosome chromosomal mutation ni dia akan menyebabkan perubahan structure uh, yang ni perubahan structure lah awak tengok yang ni jadi jadi pendek sebab apa dia buang B kan yang ni jadi panjang uh, dia tambah B uh, yang ni dia tunggang terbalik kan uh, yang ni tukar-tukar uh, so This one tell you about what is the change in term of uh, what in term of uh, structure. Uh, yang bawah ni in terms of chromosome number bilangan dia. Okay, jom kita tengok. A change in chromosome number cause a diploid organism to lose one or more chromosome or gain one or more chromosome. Uh, so maksudnya uh, chromosome mutation ni dia akan menyebabkan kita akan kehilangan satu ataupun lebih chromosome ataupun kita akan menerima lebih atau satu ataupun lebih chromosome. Okay, the change occur when homologous chromosome fail to separate during anaphase 1 uh, or sister chromatic fail to separate during anaphase 2. Okay, remember there are two possibility okay, for chromosome number to change. The first one during anaphase 1 and during anaphase 2. Sebab kita tahu during anaphase ni, tak kisahlah anaphase 1, anaphase 2, the chromosome ataupun sister chromatic should be separated to the different pool. Sebelah ke kiri, sebelah ke kanan. Tapi when they fail to uh, apa separate, ha, ni yang menyebabkan kita akan dapat lebih ataupun kurang chromosome. This probably because the normal spinal fiber fail to form during meiosis. Sebab kita tahu spinal fiber tu lah yang akan menarik kromosom tu kan. So this can be blamed by the spinal fiber. Why? Because spinal fiber is the one that will attract the chromosome number to go to the uh, different pool. And this phenomenon is known as a non-disjunction. Uh, uh, okay, so bila tidak boleh uh, separate to different pool process tu kita namakan sebagai uh, non disjunction and it cause abnormality in the number of chromosome and a gamete the gamete uh, lose one or more chromosome or gain one or more chromosome okey contohnya kita tengok gambar kat sebelah ni okey ish saya ha ni awak tengok ha uh, ni non uh, disjunction during meiosis one Okay, awak tengok sini. Awak, awak fokus yang cikgu bulatkan ini dulu. Okay, meiosis 1 ni. So, during meiosis 1, uh, non-just, non-disjunction, okay, happen when, ni awak tengok, sepatutnya, okay, sepatutnya, uh, dia je macam ni kan, satu sebelah kiri, satu sebelah kanan. Tapi disebabkan spindle fiber ni ada masalah, dia tak boleh tarik yang ni. Dia tak boleh tarik yang ni. Uh, so, as the result, Dua-dua kromosom ni akan ke sebelah kiri. So yang ni akan bersorangan lah. So you can see here. Ni, this is the outcome. Okay. Kalau yang ni pun sama juga. Sepatutnya yang ni separate. Tapi dia tak separate. Dia tak separate. Okay. 
Okey. Ni awak tengok. Sepatutnya satu sebelah sini, satu sebelah sini kan. Tapi yang ni dia dia melekat. Sebab apa? Mungkin spinal fiber ni cannot attract the kromosom. So bila berlaku anafis, dia akan tarik yang ni je lah. So yang ni maksudnya kalau kita ambil gamet yang ni, gamet ni akan terlebih lah. Ni ni ni, ni terlebih ni. Okay, yang ni terkurang. Ni awak tengok. Sepatutnya N saja. N tu maksudnya this is the normal one. N, N. Tapi yang ni tambah satu. Maksudnya gamet ni dia lebih satu kromosom. Gamet ni lebih satu kromosom. Gamet ni kurang satu kromosom ni. Negatif satu. Yang ni pun kurang satu kromosom. Yang ni normal, normal. So sebagai contohlah eh. Gamet. Okay, contohlah ini daripada mak ni daripada ayah. So contohlah sperm yang paling kuat dia ada extra kromosom. So anak dia tak jadi 46 kromosom lah. Anak, anak dia akan jadi 47. Okay. Okay, yang ni pun sama juga. Yang ni in term of physical and chemical characteristic. Ah, yang ni in terms of uh, apa? Uh, gender. Ah, ini XX perempuan lah. Yang ni XY lelaki. Ah, so uh, when non disjunction happen, okay. Ah, so aku tengok gamet ni dapat dua dua X. Ah, yang ni tak dapat X langsung. Sebab tu, ah, ni aku tengok. Ini pun sama juga. Ha, sepatutnya sebelah sini X, sebelah sini Y. Ha, okay, sepatutnya sebelah sini X, sebelah sini X. Tapi yang ni dia tak, se dia, dia tak separate. So dia jadi X, X. So sini kosong lah. Okay. Ha, so sini akan jadi kosong. Ha, so uh, kita tahu ini awak tengok X, Y kan? X, Y. X, Y, X, Y ni ini menunjukkan sperm. So bila kosong ni dia bergabung dengan X, X tu daripada sperm tu jadi XO So dia kurang satu sex kromosom dia akan dapat Turner syndrome Yang ni dapat contohlah sperm yang paling kuat adalah Y So dia jadi OY, ni penyakit lain pula Yang ni dia terlebih Ni, ni pada mak eh, yang sperm ni ayah punya Okay so X, X dia ada terlebih sepatutnya sex kromosom ni dua sahaja tapi disebabkan yang ni dia tak separate, dia akan jadi jadi tiga lah sebab campur dengan ayah sekali. X, 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 Y ni. Ni kita tengok penyakit dia. Sama juga dengan ni eh. Okay guys, so this one will tell you okay, what is the uh, disease will happen. Okay, when you have, okay, when the patient have more ataupun less number of chromosome. Ingat eh, chromosome ni mesti 46. Dia tak boleh lebih, dia tak boleh 47. Dia tak ada kurang. Dia tak boleh jadi 45. Dia mesti 46. 46 tu maksudnya kita kena ada uh, 44 uh, autosom kromosom. Kita kena ada dua sex kromosom. Autosom kromosom is the one that store our physical and chemical characteristic. Sebagai contoh kita punya ketinggian, skin color and so on. Kalau sex kromosom will identify that we are girl or we are boy. So kalau awak XX, awak adalah perempuan. Kalau XY, awak adalah lelaki. So kalau awak tengok kat sini. Okay, down, okay disease yang pertama, Down syndrome. Dia ada 46. Ingat eh, normal human being, dia ada 40. Sorry, dia ada 47 sini kan. Down syndrome ni dia ada 47. Ah, So kalau hu, normal human being, dia ada 46. So Down syndrome ni, dia ada lebih satu kromosom. Ni awak tengok. Okay, an individual, male or female, has uh, okay ni ni dia punya physical characteristic lah ini causes dia uh, so kalau awak tengok dia ada satu kromosom satu kromosom extra dekat kromosom nombor 23 uh, so kalau awak campur semua ni sebenarnya okey 1 2 3 4 sampai lah sini sepatutnya 46 tapi disebabkan dia ada satu kromosom yang terlebih iaitu di kromosom nombor 21 ah uh, dalam exam dia akan tanya tau what what number of chromosome has extra for Down syndrome. Jawapan dia 21. Kromosom ke 21. Ha, dia ada lebih. Okay. Ha, so this is the what the characteristic of the individual that suffer from Down syndrome. Ha, ni, ni wajah dia. Okay. Dia ada flat nose. Ha, dia ada broad forehead. And usually mentally retarded. Okay. Lepas tu ni apa pula ni? Ha, sebut macam mana lah ni. Ha, okay. 3 do chat syndrome the structure of chromosome change due to the uh, partial deletion of a short arms of chromosome number 5 ha, ni problem dekat uh, 
kromosom uh, number 5. Uh, maksudnya dia dia kurang kromosom. Yang ni terlebih kromosom kan? Yang ni terkurang. Sebab tu dia cakap deletion. Deletion tu maksudnya kita buang. Uh, maksudnya satu kromosom terkurang dekat kromosom nombor 5. So apa apa efek dia? The cry of affected infant is similar to that of uh, meowing kitten. Affected individual show delay development with mental. Uh, so dia ada slow brain lah and physical retardation. Uh, most patient die during childhood. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so yang ni yang cikgu cakap, ingat eh kromosom ni dia ada dua. Kromosom autosom, ni autosom je macam mana ni. Dan juga sex kromosom. Uh, okay. So ingat eh kromosom nombor satu sampai kromosom nombor dua puluh dua, semuanya autosom kromosom. Uh, kromosom nombor dua puluh tiga ni lah yang pasal sex ni. Okay, so this is what happen when you have a chromosome number problem in autosome yang ni bila ada dekat sex chromosome lah. Ha, yang ni awak tengok. Sepatutnya XX ataupun XY. Yang ni jadi XXY. Maksudnya dia ada terlebih. One extra chromosome in sex chromosome. So kalau awak, okay, 44 tu autosome chromosome lah. So chromosome, autosome chromosome dia normal. Sex chromosome dia ni ada masalah. Okay, so uh, bila someone has XXY, nama dia adalah Klinik Filter Syndrome. Uh, dia lelaki eh, sebab apa lelaki? Sebab dia ada Y. Ingat eh, whoever have Y, for sure they are boy eventually. Dia takkan jadi girl. Tapi dia has a female characteristic. You know, a sterilized man with small testis. Uh, dia ada small testis that fail to produce sperm. Poses voice and chest similar to those women. Ha, maksudnya dia ada tendency untuk ada breast lah. Okay, has long leg and hand. Okay, ha, yang ni Jacob syndrome. Ha, ni dia ada XYY. Ha, tadi XXY. Ha, ni autosome chromosome ni normal eh, 44. Ha, okay, apa apa dia punya syndrome? Male lah. Dia mesti male eh, sebab apa dia ada Y. Okay, male uh, who is taller than abnormal lah. Maksudnya dia lebih tinggi lah. And has problem with pimple on his face. Uh, so siapa lelaki-lelaki yang lawak yang ada masalah jerawat ni, cek balik eh kromosom awak tu. <laughs> Cukup ke? Ataupun lebih ke? Uh, okay. Show in inquiring speech. Uh, slow sorry. Slow in inquiring speech. Nah. Dia macam tergagak-gagak. And has learning disability. Causes weak muscle. Nah, okay. Yang terakhir Turner Syndrome. Ha, Turner Syndrome ni ha, XO. XO ni maksudnya O ni ha, dia kurang satu sex kromosom. Sepatutnya sex kromosom XS ataupun XY. Tapi disebabkan ha, mungkin ovum tu ataupun sperm tu tak bawa apa-apa sex kromosom. Ha, okay. Jadi dia XO lah. Dia tak boleh X saja. Dia mesti tambah O juga. O tu maksudnya tak hilang satu. Tak ada satu. Ha, so apa jadi? Dia, dia akan jadi perempuan eh. Sebab apa? Dia X. Dia tak ada Y. Ingat eh. Kalau ada Y mesti dia lelaki. Okay. Uh, sterile, sterile, sterile female with lack of secondary female characteristic. Uh, okay, undeveloped breast and ovary. Okay, web neck and low IQ. Okay. Okay, and this is the last one. You know, tengok. Uh, mutation on somatic and gamet. Okay, so apa maksud somatic cell? Cikgu ingat cell ni, cell kita dalam badan kita ni ada dua jenis. Somatic cell dengan sex cell. Sex cell nama lain dia adalah gamet lah. Okay, so kita ingat eh. Mutation in somatic cell. Somatic cell ni contohnya skin cell, brain cell, red blood cell, muscle cell, nerve cell. Ada apa-apa je. Tapi kalau gamet ataupun sex cell ni, dua saja Sperm and ovum. Ingat eh, gamet dengan sex cell dan juga reproductive cell, benda yang sama. Okay. So ini apa ni? Ha, mutation in somatic cell. Involve somatic cell such, such as skin cell and eye cell. Ha, yang ini involve germ cell to produce gamet. Okay, which is sperm and secondary or outside. Secondary or outside sama maksud dengan ovum. Eh. You can use either term. Ni cannot be inheritance by the next generation. Yang ni can be inheritance by next generation. Sebab apa kita tahu, we require gamet okay, to produce new organism. So that's why this can be inherited by the next generation. Okay, the disease, okay, kalau somatic cell, the disease is present only in individual with mutation. Uh, ni, the disease is present in individual with mutation and inherited by his or her uh, descendant. Okay, uh, lepas tu ni contoh dia lah. Uh, disease related to the nervous system. 
in all inherited diseases such as thalassemia. Okay, guys. So I think that's all for today. So I hope you just can fully understand. So once you are done, please write down your name in class. Okay. So once you finish watching this video, please try to complete. Okay, the exercise I have given to you through Telegram. Okay, so next, uh, next class we are going to discuss. Okay, guys. So that's all for today. So I see you next time. Okay, assalamualaikum. Bye bye.